Peter Quill. Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, Peter wake, Quill. Up. wake up. Wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey, it's only a leak. Ah, oh, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> <laughs> arrested? For what? Our ship just accidentally slipped into the, the quarantine. Zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Nova Corps force field? <sighs> Details. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go.
Okay, here we go. Rocket crew, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate- There! There was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The beast that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. Friend. For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Groot, Quill, suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it, and my skin is not green. It is teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. Ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. For one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Gamora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Huh. Oh, can you imagine? I am good. Uh, okay, guess we're taking the long. Oh, huh. you okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh,. I think resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. We don't know what it looks like. Quill neglected to get that info while he was flirting on Contraxia. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in.
Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why'd he even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so... Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have no... Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig. Before you-know-who joined us. I am cool. I do not hate everybody. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <sighs> <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Lark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Pass this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we can find pieces of the Trion Shard in here? I'm good. You never heard of the Trion Shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. I'm good. How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense. Whoa! I'm okay! Ugh. I'm okay. <laughs> Didn't scare you, did I? No. Aww. You were worried. That's cute. Uh, shut up, both of you. It is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Hmm. Probably got disintegrated when the ships went kaboom. Or the nano resin absorbed. Uh, uh. Watch it, Quill! Uh, uh. Take that, brittle stuff! <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter! Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the... Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin' thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording! Bridge over, Groot. I want to see if he's alive. I am Groot. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. Huh? Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, hey, little guy. What are you? <laughs> You guys should have seen that. It was this weird blobby thing. <laughs> Not falling for this again. Oh, hurry, you fat I was 
St. Peter Quill's posterior is more round than fat. eaten by a blob or something. Should've heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. Uh, Quill, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Uh, Quill knows Mother of Scott! Oh. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Quill? We're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all, all right, the time. Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, yeah, That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. Ugh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? I'm Groot. Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until we are done here. Bad idea. Any sign of cops, we surrender, okay? We do not surrender. I'm with Drax on this one. We all have criminal records, and they'll be looking for any excuse to arrest us. I agree. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No! No! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fly, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of the ship. Full of ship things, gotta be things that power sh- Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule, at best. I'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket, help me scramble some critters. No, no, no. Scott, that will rewire this. Here. 
Easy for you to say. You've got a pointy stick. Done. We're all plugged in. Wow. Just in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on. Two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off, and we're... Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? Man, that thing is ridiculous. Think it was a ship or a robot? That's a Cree Century, a robot, but it would have been space-worthy. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. Impressive, but I could fly circles around something that big. Give me a fast and sexy M-Class scout over those things any day. I do appreciate that sweet Ravager pirate tech. She's made for hidden runs, <laughs> and boy can she run. She can get too. There's always room for more firepower. Well, that sentry probably took on whole fleets. This old Kree tech gets me wondering. Get a load of this, what would I do now if those blue butt scotch managed to keep me locked into their half-world experiments? Don't worry, I ain't even gotten serious yet. Of course we're going the right way. Just keep your eyes on that mining ship. That's where we want to end up. What's a mining ship doing in the middle of all these fighters anyway? Eh, they don't call them casualties of war for nothing. Yep, that would have been a killing blow. Ha! Not even close! Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this back, Quill! Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts in my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. <laughs> you guys are so deep. I'm having the time of my life. Found a nip <laughs> Hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? <laughs> I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. Don't congratulate him! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. Wonder how many big bot carcasses we'd find looking around the entire zone. If it's a sentry you're looking at, we've seen at least three so far. Or at least... Three pieces. I assume the large arm belonged to the large torso. Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hyper circuits. Boo! No one knows what those are. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, bumper goes there, Quill. Hey, Bumper ain't gonna install itself. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Gotta love that kill radius. This 
missing all the fun last time. Missing all the fun last time. Hey, I'm happy to take this round off. Do we really need to test these things? Appreciate the confidence of my work, but yes. Nice splatter rocket. I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on. You can't just give yourself points like that. Sure I can. Hey, green team, looks like we're done installing our thumpers. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. All right, mining rig is right there. I am broke. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. <gasps> Rocket? Oh, Clark. Guys, jump! No! 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 Piece of moldy driftwood, you could have died saving me. I love you too, you selfless son of a truck. Come on, Coral. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Groot's signal just went dark. His radio must have broke when he fell. Uh, group just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket over. <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. Huh. Uh, sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. Whatever, right? Like you said, Groot's fine. Everything is... Fine. Exactly. We're all fine. Sure, sure. Fine. Ha! 
Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Ah, this turbine's right in the way. We gotta get through it. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah. A manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thumper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around to scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great. Another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. Pew, pew. Imagine towing all this stuff by hand, or by ship, technically. And... Floor! It's stuck on something! Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. Crap, 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 crap! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't like this! <laughs> One for me! That point don't count before death! Where's oh, Larkin, son of a? I told you I saw them. Great timing. How did you guys? Good to see you two. But you're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movement. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Track incoming! Watch out! What? Hang on! Have you perished, Peter Quill? No, 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 no! Too much debris! I'm taking her out of here! And cozy in here. Not so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think. Ah, swear. What? My visor went supernova. Is it broken? Uh, overloaded, sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Uh, come on. Larkin tensor joint. Just neat. Uh, wiggle the. Uh, okay, so life support's moving back up. What's it look like out there? Oh. Mother of space particles. Ah, that one's mine! You okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just... Man. of old cleaner bots maybe old cleaner bots I don't know
You okay, buddy? Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots, <laughs> accidentally, at a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. <laughs> yep, just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, want to bet green team's having trouble parking the ship? I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. Hang on a tick. Hey, Groot. <laughs> How do you make a dead Shatari float? <laughs> Take your foot off its head. Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. <laughs> Look at this old beauty. I am Groot. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. Nobody knows we're here. You covered. Hey, Quill! Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here. Small marvel crafted. Upgrade. Perfectly safe, right? Uh, I don't trust your definition of safe. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. Well, Scott! Uh, this place is crawling with ugly! Guys! I'm not alone down here! You gotta deal with it! We'll look for a way around! Holy crap! The most punchable thing I've ever seen! <laughs> Sayonara, space potato! <laughs> These things are just dying to be punched! I feel the same way about you, Sarkar! Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket. Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining ship's been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. You two 
have any luck? Hello? Oh, another freaky thing! How freaky? Kill it! You read my mind! This thing refuses to die! I can barely scratch it! Kill it harder! I'm killing it as hard as I can! Come on. Get fried, Marshmallow Man! It out! Now's our chance! Take your time, me and Drax got this! We make a fine duel, Peter Quill. You stab him, I zap him! Tracks, where are you? Did I hear blasters? You sure did. <laughs> Save some for me. Not gonna be a problem. This one's defenses are formidable! My turn! Come on, cut him down! Time's up! Not too big to skewer! Die. <laughs> you greenies found Quill yet? Found and saved. Hey. Go on ahead then. We'll catch up. Just making a uh, pit stop. I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. It's physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! You can put it down here. I am on my way. Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you move. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. I am Groot. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Huh. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. No Whoa! Careful! Oh, Whoa. Rocket. Well, you got some timing. We got company. Is this from the last bumper? We haven't even placed it yet! This place is crawling with bumpers! Your food for our quarry, it will not be far behind! Let's just focus on not becoming food ourselves! We need to... You're right! This isn't working! My work! It's like we woke up the whole ship! Just hang in there! Guys, huddle up! It feels...
feels like they're everywhere, laughing at us. And yet, we cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's flarkin' scary out there, Quill. Flarknark's on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it, and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wultox Field this must wait! Run! Oh, yeah! This is more like it! I am obliged to agree with the assassin! I will destroy you all! Sounds like Drax is having fun! Get the point! What is next, Peter Quill? Drax, shut him down! Make your peace! We ain't such a bad team after all! You kidding? We're the best! These well, this are are no match for the destroyer! You're a rousing leader, Peter Quill! Sometimes he ain't half bad. Glorious! Bring on our monster! I'm engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last bumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. It's almost insulting. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What?! It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh. Good. Oh crap, the door, we... Uh, that works. Let's catch our monster. Man, that thing's bad! That's one less thing to hide behind. Good thinking. Now's your chance, Gamora! You don't stand a chance! Holla! stinks! My eyes are watering! I've got nowhere left to hide. But it can still run! Gotta be something to <laughs> What the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the... Uh, you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Alright. Enough with the warm-up. 
Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. What in hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! <laughs> The place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Tracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people! Rocket, hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! Now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttons as Peter Blue instructed. Watch it! Someone give me a hand. <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away! Well... Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! Quickest way through is through. Peter! You fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin. Don't you get through on my ship! My ship! Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduf. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? He's so... Groot says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it uh, please don't be Nova Corps please don't be Nova please don't be Nova Corps it is Nova Corps Hope. Uh, did you say Hal is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Uh, not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? 
This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill, of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide Rocket's crate. Peter! You're willing to gamble on a... Space llama thingy? I'll convince Corel the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corel. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am good. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacor licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos. Deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero. Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Hey, watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The English. captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Yeah, plan's going real good, Quill. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power. No containment. 
A single spark. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, All right, pirates. apparently. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Ro never no! mentioned you must daughter. have You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. If I lost my first prisoner. <laughs> Your mom, right. Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a blast door around the corner. We'll be safe there. Here. Help me with this. Ready? Together. On three, two, one. <laughs> go, go. Okay. We need to keep moving. This way. Dead Nikki? Whoa. Just stay I close. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkie? Oh, man. This is bad. Just give me a sec. You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on! You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. As Whoa! As <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Relax! You're fine! Ish! I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now! Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? They've been processed and put in the brig. Come on. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. 
Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogram most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean, it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. <laughs> I kinda know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. This way. I'm still in charge here, you know? Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Well, we're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like... I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I... Never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me! Never saw my passkey! You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad? Running around with criminals? Alleged criminals? You almost died! Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. 
Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and <clears throat> recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she was... Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get me out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay, I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, there was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war caused a lot of feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, lockdown. Lockdown, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. Can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. On second thought, it's only fair if I ask Chewie. He is a grown Wookiee, definitely old enough to make his own decisions. Okay. Yeah, he 
he says he's okay. So, uh, how are you doing? You okay? Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on, when have I ever... You won't regret it! Promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship, and you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, no... Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the... dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent cooking's... Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... 
Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always out on My a figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the mock I will. Guys. I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. A cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Daz? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far! That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. 
There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Helvet. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. <clears throat> Ew! Ah. Ouch! Ugh. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity. <laughs> oh, that was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this! Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blows! Ah! Uh! Everyone okay? We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey! Check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half World. I think I'm scared of some little. But what? Not alone. Get ready. Oh. I just guess this is a lot of it out of big guys. More prayers to add to our collection, boys. Let's end it. Jiggly and deadly! What gives? Beats me! It's dead now, though! Death has come! Watch the spike of things! Don't have to tell me twice! Jelly's on the offensive! It's about time! You must have seen Your locomotion is mesmerizing! That's what a monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets, but food. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! You think it leads to the fortress? Hopefully! This is Seknarf 9. All paths must lead to Lady Hellbender's fortress. All right, we need to find a way up that ship. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk. It all fails to shoot stuff. Words to live by. Having fun? Drax, you can pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. We made it halfway up. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. This all right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. That 
don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. This place is a flarkin' maze. All those trees look like... Like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax. I'm just looking around. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that day. This is further proof that we are not welcome here. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. What about you, Drax? Worst monster? Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's just gonna say, throw it. Don't give him the pleasure. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? Tathians do not chase our prey. Lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me... We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking chogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. I mean, maybe this is why Elven is so hot for us. Just another religious nut. It's not a nut of any kind. She's a conqueror. Maybe these were from the people she conquered. And, you know, heroism. 
Hey! I found more ruins down here! Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Right. That does right. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait. Hear that? Voice oh. up, people. Incoming! These things are pissed and deadly. Let's see. So sure this is the way. The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Here. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being rude of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B, okay? And just go. No, you just someone go! Someone go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Ah, no! Yep, definitely saw the giant pack. Peter! 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 No!
<laughs> nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Guys, anyone know what that is? A monster! Stumpy's running away. But that its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. All right. I'm pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I help in spirit. All right. Slippery wind bubble treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. <laughs> we are not committed to safety. What? We're safe-ish? Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Done in record time. It's all yours.
So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. It took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! It is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Okay, here we go! Oh, slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Son of a smack, reach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, and fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Clark, Clark. Quill, Quill. I don't know. My blast is a... I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull Scott like this. Hey, yes, come on, dude. Just leave the let guns me, alone. Me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. Demon court in the Some kind of war thing or animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. I crave to win a battle like this, Peter Quill. What are the others to stand down so that I may finish it alone? Uh, no. If anyone's gonna win this alone, it'll be me and my blade. I am Groot. Dudes! Quit talking about fighting alone. We're a team. We fight better together. Because out on that field, it's all for one and one for all. And that's exactly how we win this time. Who's with me? Feel my wrath! Yeah! You said... Close, but 
we're gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stop Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is... I did it! Impressive! Now we gotta get the next one out. with them under my pillow. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah! You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? Yeah, and dry now, too. More, can you clear the path through that junk? Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a... That is not a happy monster. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? Anyone but Drax? I just heard that she's fair but terrified. Make of that what you will. Fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure ex Exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Will's the greatest explorer I ever met. We'll take your word for it, bud. Take his word for what? He says the soil here is like... Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Just be a lesson to you, rodent. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scut. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, yeah. 
Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work food. on your taste, but The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is leader. Coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, I just went through the same crap. You, group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see any easy way to get up there. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, Dolce? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or a random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And 
the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a fucking infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you group? Oh! Right! The cage. When have you been getting the Flarkin thing? It's looking like we mean business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodents are I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I gotta. Dra Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing, like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Good to soothe in tones. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. Right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.66 clicks. For the love of Lark. Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. <laughs> 